The Foucault pendulum at Grove City College is swinging again after two decades, and it's all thanks to a couple of students and the faculty who helped them. My involvement started back in the fall when both Graiths and McKenzie approached me saying that they were interested in getting the pendulum running again. The pendulum's been sitting idle since the late 90s, early 2000s, and former faculty member Dr. James Downey was one of the last to work on it. Well, we really knew nothing about it, and there was a lot of signs um, and posters on the back of the shaft, um, and one of them did say to come back later and kind of see for yourself as to what happens. So we would keep coming back um, and coming back and coming back, and after a couple times of convincing ourselves that maybe something had happened, we did decide that it wasn't moving um, and that it was broken. When they started the project, they needed to get a bob and fix the circuitry, so they asked some electrical engineering professors for some help. I like to just walk by, see people looking in the window and be like, hey, I fixed that, you know? <laughs> it's pretty fun and I just see people like peering in and be like, whoa, that's new, the light's on now. So I think that's pretty cool to see. Now, freshman Bryn Graybill is working on creating coding to track the movement of the bob. That's what I want to do with com my computer science minor. I want to use it to, like, to supplement physics, so this, it, it's a good chance to do that. Clem offered the students course credit, but they turned it down. He said he's proud they got it done and that they did it to satisfy their own curiosity. That's what all good scientists do. To learn more about how the pendulum works, read below. In Grove City for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Brandon Jaycees.